So recently we were having a discussion about using um, PLA for hot ends and for extruders. Now this is a standard MK8 hot end and let me, I don't know if I can get in there so you can see how it works, but uh, it's not an E3D. How it works is it has a, the heat break tube goes up into a big aluminum block and and then that aluminum block has a heat sink that we trap on with this hair fan. And I'm actually going to kill the power to it now. And it's all warm because I actually have to clean the nozzle too. But um, the uh, fan here, the heat sink, and the stepper motor all trap the heat sinky thing in place. Which this is, that's your heat sink, your motor, and an extruder. Now, this is, it's actually, well, I hate to say it, but it's, it's actually Maker Geeks <laughs> HTPLA. And as you can see, that's been on there, I'm going to say two and a half, three years, two years, two plus years. As you can see, it's not cooked at all. <laughs> it's just fine. Now, you should anneal it. I did not anneal this, but we were having that discussion. We were actually thinking the heat annealed it because you can't really tell from this angle. Let me see if I can get a better angle. Bang. Uh, let's get a better angle. Here we go. This is the actual heat break. This is the heat sink right here. So this is dissipating all the heat. It gets warm. It doesn't get hot. But then it goes into this fan unit here, which just traps up against it, and these fins cool it. This is trapped straight up against it. So this is sitting right on top of that. And it is, this is sitting right on top of it. And it is fine. And it's been doing it for years. So they're thinking that it's actually annealed in place which would make sense. Um, I still think it's really not. I did not anneal this, and uh, I just think it holds up to the temperature better. But anyway, obviously that's fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. I'll keep using it, but the only thing I can say is, is uh, this hole's starting to wear out.